Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the Amazon Lex playlist, where we'll integrate our chatbot into a web page using Communicate. If you followed along in the previous videos in the playlist, you'll recall that our chatbot allows a user to order a burger and perform slot data validation using Lambda. However, at this time, we're only able to access the bot in the Lex test console. Communicate is a service which will allow us to integrate our bot into a web page, which we'll host in S3. To follow along, you'll need to have your bot configured in Lex, which you can do by watching the prior videos if needed, and a Communicate account, which will give you a 30-day free trial to get started. If you haven't yet built a bot, or you previously built it and destroyed it, and you want a refresher on how to build it, I'll run through the process here at speed to help you get up and running. Now, with your bot built and integrated into your Lambda function, we'll switch our attention to Communicate. After creating your Communicate account and logging in, go to the Bot Integration Dashboard by clicking the Bot icon in the left navigation menu, then select Integrate Bot for Amazon Lex. Select Lex V2, and here you'll need to add an IAM access key and secret access key from AWS. So, Head over to the IAM Management Console. We'll add a user group. We'll name it Lex Admins. Select the user and then search for Lex. For the demo, we'll select Amazon Lex Full Access. Create the group. Now go back to the users. Select our user. Go to Security Credentials and create an access key. Now copy the access key ID and go back to communicate and paste it in. Then go grab the secret access key, go back to communicate and paste that in as well. Now we need to select the region that we're working in, which for me is USD East. Then select the bot name and the bot alias. 
The default language is English, so I'll click Save and Proceed. I'll leave the bot name as Burger Buddy Bot and use the default bot photo, then Save and Proceed. I'll click Finish Bot Setup, and now I'll try out the new bot. And here we see our Burger Buddy bot, and I'll enter my utterance. of I'd like to order a burger. Now I'm prompted to enter which size burger I'd like and I'll order a triple and I'll order it from best burger. The type of burger will be bacon and I'll confirm that I want the Burger Buddy bot to order my burger. and I get the fulfillment message of, I've placed your order. Now, this integration is pretty cool, right? We're able to use the Communicate test client to connect to our Lex chatbot, which is using Lambda in the background to do slot data validation. But what we wanna do is take this a step further and integrate it into a web page. So here I have the Burger Buddy bot web page, which will ultimately be hosted in S3. And the code for this page is in the GitHub repo under the Amazon Lex demo project in the web page folder. So you could grab this and follow along. Now, what we need to do is go back over to communicate and in the lower left, click on the gear icon for settings and then install. Then we'll copy this JavaScript that's provided jump into the code for the web page, paste it into the head, save the file, and go back to the page. And now we see the communicate chat icon. So if I click this, now we have our Burger Buddy bot. So we'll start with our familiar utterance. Of I'd like to order a burger. The size will be double. I'll order it from Flaming Burger. And I'll get a chili burger. And confirm, yes, I'd like the Burger Buddy bot to order my burger. And we get the fulfillment message that Burger Buddy has placed the order. Now let's just run one more test. of I'd like to order a single bacon burger from Best Burger. And here we're just prompted to confirm that we want Burger Buddy to order our burger because we provided all the slot data in the initial utterance. So this time I'll say no. And we get the fulfillment declination message of stay hungry, my friend. Now, the last thing for us to do is to create an S3 bucket, configure it for static website hosting, and upload our web page into it. So on the S3 console, I'll go ahead and create a bucket. I'll give it a name of Burger Buddy Bot. I'll uncheck block all public access and acknowledge, then create the bucket. Now I'll go into the bucket, click on properties, scroll down to the bottom, and enable static website hosting. I'll give it an index document and an error document and save changes. Then I'll jump into permissions, edit the bucket policy, and add a policy that will allow all principles to perform the get object access on objects in our bucket. I'll save the changes, click on objects, upload, then grab the contents of the web page folder and upload them.
Now if I click on the index HTML object, grab the object URL and open it in a browser tab, we see our Burger Buddy bot page with the communicate icon. And our testing looks good. But before we wrap this video up, let's do a little negative testing. Here, I'll say I'd like to order a burger. And when prompted to enter the burger size, I'll enter a value that isn't a proper burger size. And now Burger Buddy prompts me to select a single, double, or triple burger size. So now I'll select a single. And I'm prompted to enter where I'd like to order the burger from. And I'll enter McDonald's. And since McDonald's isn't a valid franchise for Burger Buddy, I'll go ahead and enter Best Burger. Now, what type of burger would I like? And if we look over at the Burger Buddy page, we'll see, as we know, Best Burger offers bacon, cheese, and plain burgers. But for this test, I'll enter a chili burger, which comes from the Flaming Burger franchise. And now Burger Buddy prompts me to select a Best Burger type of plain, cheese, or bacon burger. So now I'll enter cheese, And yes, I'd like Burger Buddy to order my burger. Perfect. So that concludes this video on integrating our Burger Buddy Lex chatbot into a web page hosted in S3 using Communicate. If you found this helpful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.